Find the length of AD given that DE is parallel to BC. So AD is this length here, so we're trying to figure out what this is. So I'm going to label this as X. So I'm told that DE is parallel to BC. So I have my little arrows that represent parallelity. But I'm also told in the question that they are parallel to each other. So these little lines mean parallel. So we need to find AD. So we first identify what ratio we will use. So we're going to use this little formula. Top length divided by bottom length is equal to top length divided by bottom length. So top and bottom length on the left is equal to top divided by bottom length on the right. So let's just identify what the top length is first. Well, the top length is going to be X on the left hand side or just AD. So you can write that as AD or X. The bottom length on the left hand side is three and a third. So we swap bottom length for three and a third on the left. Then the top length on the right hand side is going to be three. So we swap top length for three on the right hand side. And then bottom length on the right hand side is going to be five. So we swap bottom length for five on the right hand side. So then all we have to do is cross multiply. So it's going to be AD multiplied by five. It's going to give us five AD. And then three and a third multiplied by three will give us 10. Be careful with inputting this into the calculator. If you write three with a third stuck onto it, what it's going to do is get a third of three, which would be one, and then multiply that by three, which would give you three, not 10. But the answer is 10. So what you need to do in the calculator is input three plus a third with brackets around it, multiplied by three, or you could say three plus a third will give you an improper fraction of 10 over three, and 10 over three multiplied by three will give you 10. So just be careful with how you input this on the calculator. So then we get five AD equals 10, or we could get five X equals 10, depending if you used AD or you used the letter X. So then 10 divided by five will give us two. So the length of AD is going to be two. In the triangle P or T, so P or T, the length of or T is equal to 10.4. So the length of or T is 10.4. We want to find the length of or S. So from here to here, we're trying to figure out what or S is. So I'm going to label or S as X. So I'm trying to find X, I'm trying to find or S. So we need to find or S, so we need to identify which ratio we're going to use. So we're looking for the top length, and we've been given the overall length of one side. So we're looking for this top length here, and we've been given the overall length of one of the sides, and we also know this top length, this bottom length, and Consequently, this overall length as well. So we're going to use this formula. Top length divided by overall length on the left is equal to top length divided by overall length on the right. So first of all, we need to find RP, so the overall length on the left. So the length of RP is going to be RQ plus QP. So the length of RQ is 5, and the length of QP is 1.5, and 5 plus 1.5 is 6.5. So the length of RP is 6.5 from R to P. So the overall length of the left hand side is 6.5. So we're going to have top length divided by overall length. And in this example, they have RS on the left of the equal sign. So they have RS, which I've written as X, on the left of the equal sign, and the 10.4, also on the left of the equal sign. So it's going to be 
top length, which is RS, divided by overall length, which is 10.4. And this is equal to the top length of the other side, which is 5, divided by the overall length, which is 6.5. Now we could have wrote it the other way around with 5 over 6.5 on the left hand side and RS over 10.4 on the right hand side. Either way will work out because we're going to cross multiply and solve. So I'm going to cross multiply and it's going to be RS multiplied by 6.5 which is 6.5 RS or we could have said x multiplied by 6.5, which would be 6.5x, equals 10.4 multiplied by 5, and 5 times 10.4 is 52. So then we're going to do 52 divided by 6.5 will give us 8. So the length of RS is going to be 8.